Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Stitching Colourist with Shelley Lewis and today I shall be doing my finished pictures for the month of March. Now, as you can see, I have a wad of books here. Yeah, I've gone a bit colouring crazy, tell you the truth. I'm kind of colouring obsessed, really. I've done loads, but considering the circumstances, it's a load. So, they're going to be in no particular order except for one set. So, I'm going to start with this. I coloured a picture out of this Mosaic Art Sea Creatures book. And my little bit is down the bottom. Oh no. And bits of paper have gone all over the floor. Oh gosh. A great start to the video. <laughs> so yeah, I've dropped all my bin over the floor, my bits. But here, this is the. I only did one picture in this book because I was doing quite a few pictures in different books this month. So this is the one that I did in here. I've recently done, I recently showed this in my haul video. So I won't go into detail with it but I just absolutely love it. I really do. And I did this on the 7th of the 3rd, 2020 this month. So I did that one. The next one I did, because you know I like my mystery mosaics, and I decided to take all my mystery mosaics pictures out of the two books that I got, and then I regretted it, <laughs> because these books are really hard to get, get from the UK, basically. You can get them from the US, and I think... You can get them in Canada, but it it may be a little bit harder to get them there as well. So this is a picture that I did. And this is Mosaic 3, and it is from the third book. And I used, um, I might have used Everblend markers to do this one. So I really, really do love that. So, the next one. Now these... <laughs> Yes, for the month of March, with well, I've been hosting along with Nikki from Nikki Niagara and Lisa's Colouring Corner. We've been doing Belberry March, where it's basically colouring a ton of pictures out of the Belber family colouring books. And I just, as you can see, I've done an absolute ton out of these. So I hope you don't get bored, but <laughs> yeah. So in no particular order, these I've got Mr. Mosaic's Colour by Number book for adults, dogs, and I did quite a few in here. I did a cross. Oh gosh, come on, focus! I did a cross stitch method. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. The focus really went out then. That was using the cross stitch method, and I did that on the 16th of the 3rd. I did this one of the dog, and I, I didn't actually write a date that I did this one on. I think I did it round about the same date. So I did that one using again the cross stitch method. Now the next one I used, I've not seen people use this method before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, I used the dot method to do this one. I just basically, instead of using cross stitch, I did a complete dot colouring method to finish this one. And I am really, really glad how that one turned out. I absolutely love it. I did this one. Now for this one, this one's different how I did this um, because I was talking with my husband and we had a discussion and was saying what different types of method there are I could use in these books and he said well why don't you try your initial um, the letter of your first name so technically my name's Michelle but uh, everyone calls me Shelley so in each of the squares I put an S so if I zoom you in and if it'll go into focus, you can see there, I put an S in every single square. 
and I am just really pleased with how that turned out. So I thought it's something different and it's a different way of colouring. Now this one, I finished this on the 27th of the 3rd, so I technically finished this, I think it was yesterday, the day before. Now this one's a different one as well. For this method, I used the actual numbers method. Just wait for that to go into focus. Come on camera. Come on. There we go. I used a number method for these. So for number one colours I put a number one. For number three I did number three. Um, seven, you can see the sevens. And I did it for a certain amount of time with it. But then I got a little bit... I just wanted to do it simple. So I did the rest in the cross stitch method. So that is what I did from that book. So the next book is Mystery Mosaics, Colour by Number Book for Adults, and this is Passion. I don't think I did a whole lot in this one. Or I might have done, no, I don't think I did. I did this one, and I just used the general cross-stitch method for this. And I did this on the 25th of this month. And I used Arteza Fine Liners to do that one. Because I've been using my Arteza Fine Liners lately for the change. So that is what I've done in that one. So the next one is Mystery Mosaics Colour by Number Book for Adults. And this is Woman. And out of this one I did... Did I do more than that? I did this one. And I did this on the 12th of this month, just using the general cross stitch method. And I used Stedler 20 markers to do that one. And that is all that I did in that. So the next one, this is their latest one. And this is Square Mandalas Animals in Patterns. And I think I did about four out of here. So I did this one, which I absolutely love. I really do love this. And it's the attempt is the cross stitch method. And I think I use my Stedler Tri Plus markers to do that one. And I did this one. I love this one as well. I did a combination of methods on this. I did the block method, like the original, around there and in the middle. And I also did a cross stitch method for in between. And I used Stay Below 68 pens and also WH Smith markers for that one. And I did that on the first. So I did that one on when the Belbury March started. So the next one I did was this one. And I did a combination again, but I did most of it in block. But I did put a little bit of a cross stitch method in between. And for that one, I did it on the 2nd of this month. I can't remember what I used. So it might, it may have been the Stedler Tri Plus markers I used to do that. And that is what I've done in that one. So the next one is, now I did the majority of the picture in this on camera, but I also did some off camera for the Belbury March. And this is Christmas and Travel Mosaics, an adult colouring book by number with relax and relaxing pages of Christmas scenes around the world. Trying to get my words out there. And the one I did out of here was this one. And I used Stedler Twin Tip markers to do this. At first, I wasn't keen on those markers in this book because the paper seemed to want to suck up the ink. Um, but I've since, I've since used those markers, but I've done them using a cross stitch method in another book. And they do actually, they are actually okay. They turned out well. So I just did the one picture in that. And I did that on the 19th of this month. So the next one. This is another one that I did on camera as well. And I did some off camera. As you can tell I think I've done about four out of here. So this 
so the first one I did was this one and this is sorry the book is travel mosaics amazing landscapes and people and the first one I did out of here was this one of the Mexican and I just used I think it was Stedler what was it I can't remember really to be honest I did this one close to the ocean and I did that on the 6th of this month I did this one now with this one because I couldn't really because I like to use different types of methods you can't really use the cross stitch methods on these pages so what I did was because I wanted certain parts of the picture to stand out I used markers for mostly the background but I used pencil and pencil blending for certain parts of the picture for the leaves I don't know if you can tell how I did a little bit of blending there and some there I'm not an expert on blending with pencils but I thought it'd be something different and when I finished the picture I also did a slight bit of outlining with a black um pen oh what do you call it but <laughs> yeah with a black fine line I did a bit of outlining on different parts so different parts of it would stand out and I really did have fun with that picture and I did this one and I did the most of this one on camera with you guys and I finished this on the 5th of this month and I just used um, Stedler Tri Plus to do that one so that is what I did in there you may hear my kids in the background guys because they're currently on my son's pad so the last one that I did out of this book, um, out of a book for the Belber in March is from Mysterious Mosaics Colour by Number Book for Adults and this is Wow Cats and I think I did about four in here. I think. I think. So I did this one. Now actually I did this last month. But the reason why I'm including it in this month is because I forgot to show it in last month. So I did this actually technically on the 12th of the 2nd. And I used Stedler Tri Plus for that. And I just used the normal general, uh, the normal original block method for that. I did this one. Now this one I finished the end of last uh, February as well. And I finished this on the 13th of the 2nd. And again, I used Stedler Tri Plus. And I did a combination method for this. I did block method and also stitch method for certain parts of the picture. I did this one. And I did this one for Belber in March. And I love how this one turned out. I used my Stedler fine liners to do this. And I absolutely love it. And I finished this on the 9th of the 3rd this month. I did this one. Now, this one is not my favourite. The reason why is because I like the background where I did the cross stitch method. But where I did the block, the colours just seemed to be really, really dark. And I just wasn't generally pleased with it. Not like I am with most of them. And I did that on the 10th of this month. And I did this one. And I'm really pleased with this, how this one turned out. I think it looks super cute. And again, I did the cross stitch method. And I finished this on the 12th of this month. And I did it using Stedler Fine Liner. Bear that, guys. My children required my attention. <laughs> so the next books that I'm going to show you, well, some of them. These, I did these actually technically a while ago, but I was a bit apprehensive about showing them in my video. But I thought, you know what, I'll just do it. So this is the Les Grands Classics Toned to Disney by Hatchet Heroes um, Adult Colouring Book. And I did, I finished this one in here. I'm going to have to pull that down a bit. So I finished that one and I technically did that in February and I did that on the 6th of the 2nd and I used my Stedler Tri Plus markers to do that. 
So that is what I finished in that one. The next one is this one, and this is Chris Mysteries, a colorier, and this is Disney Princess. And this is by Hatchet Heroes, adult colouring book. And the ones that I did in here, sorry, I didn't do that one there. I did this one of The Little Mermaid. And I did that, technically I did this on the 8th of the 12th, 2019. So that goes to show how long I have did it. I did this one of Belle and I'm really pleased with how these turned out they are super super cute I did this one of Belle on the 23rd of the 12th and I did this one on the 27th of the 12th and this was for the hashtag colouring book finish and I did this one now, I went a bit wrong on the colours on his face there, as you can tell. But I still think it turned out well. Still, still turned out cute. And absolutely love the pictures that I finished in that. And I'm going to actually work some more in that for, this, for the following upcoming month. So the next one is this one. And this is Disney Lorraine Desnages. <laughs> Colorages Magiques. Um, adult colouring book and I did these two pages in this one I did this one of uh, Frozen and I did this on the 17th of the 2nd and I did this one of Anna and I used Stedler Triplus markers to do both of these and I finished this one on the 18th of the 2nd so the next book is Cakes and Candies, colour by number Such and Such Diva. And out of this one, I did this one. I feel it was super cute. I finished it on the 8th of this month. And I used just general alcohol markers to colour this one. And I also finished this one. And I finished this one on the 9th of this month and I used, again, just general alcohol markers. And I completed these pictures whilst I was watching Urban Legend the one night on TV. Well, on it wasn't on Netflix, it was on a horror channel. So, another one is, I coloured another one out of this. This is Colour by Number and the Discovering Magic and this is Mr. Colours Christmas. I was very, very kindly gifted this by from Lisa Loves. I'm sure it was Lisa Loves. Um, and these, you cannot get these from the UK. You can only get them from overseas. And the one that I did in this was this one. And I did this for you Colour Your Hoard, which is um, Lavelle's year-long colouring challenge. And I did this on the 6th of the 3rd. And I used, I think I just used, ah, I used Everblend markers to do this one. Your alcohol markers work fantastic in this book. And this book, I'm going to work on this all year round. Just because it's not Christmas, it doesn't mean you can't work in your Christmas books. So the next one is Colour by Number Mystery Quest. And this is by Sun Life Drawing. And I finished, I forgot to include this in my last video as well. And I finished this one, which I did on the 29th of the 2nd. I'm really pleased with how that turned out. I used Stedler Triplus Blend Markers on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this book. Aim to get it finished um, next month for the colouring book finish challenge that I'm doing. So I'm going to put that to the side. So I've got two last books. Now these books were gifted to me for Mother's Day from both my children. And the chosen I did from this. This is Holly Jolly Christmas. Mosaic colouring book. Colour by numbers for adults. And the pictures I did. I did the front cover which is that one. 
because I just couldn't wait to do it. And oh gosh, I've ripped the page. And I did this one. Now this guys, this book is absolutely fantastic because the circles aren't too small in this one. You know how some of them can be. So it was so much fun to do. I really, really did love working in this one. And that is what I've done for that one. So the last book, guys, that I've worked in for this month is this one. And this is Cat Quirkles. And this was a gift for Mother's Day. And this is Thomas Pavit. Cavite <laughs> and I did this one now I worked on this one uh, whilst I was watching no I wasn't watching Harry Potter I was listening to the Harry Potter audio book and I just I love how this turned out I thought it was absolutely fantastic so there you go. So that is my finished pictures for the month of February. Now, next thing I'm going to do is, because I keep forgetting to do this, because I've seen other people do it on their channels, and I just wanted to do it on mine. So we're going to have a look at my empties. <laughs> so for my empties, now we've got this. This is a Lolly's gel pen. Now, it does look like it's actually full but I could not get any ink out of this whatsoever. So I'm classing this as an empty. Um, I've tried using... I must admit, I'm not a big fan of Lolly's gel pens. I'm just not. So I'm classing that as an empty. Another empty I've got is my Touch 5 Twin Marker. And it was in the shade Prussian Blue 69. That is another empty. Another one is the Stedler Tri Plus, just normal general black marker. I love those. <laughs> those are my favourite markers. We've got Station Restore, Office School and Home. Now, this did not last more than five minutes because it was only technically a pack of ten for a pound, so it did not last long. We've got a Prismacolor marker in here. And it's the shade Pink Rose. Now, I love Prismacolor markers. And again, they are hard. You can't really get these from the UK. But a while ago, when I went on holiday two years ago, um, just before I went, I actually dropped Lucky. And somebody was selling a whole bunch of these. So I snapped it up <laughs> off eBay and... I brought them and I've only just used one. Well, I've used them all, but I've only just used up one. Another one is in the, a shade blue of a Stedler Tripus colour. Another fair empty is a Stay Below 68 pen, just a general blue one. A finished Touch 5 marker and this is the Yellow Ochre that I've finished. And another empty is this big market marking pens, which I think they've renamed these intensities. So, guys, that is the finish of the video my finished pictures and also my empties. So, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, please feel free to give the video a big thumbs up. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the Belba in March. I have absolutely had a blast. And I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that joined in on the Colour Along. I've seen a lot of your pictures and videos and they are absolutely amazing. So, um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider pressing that subscribe button and the notifications so you'll be notified of when I bring the next video out. And until next time, please stay safe. And my hugs and wishes go out to every single one of you. And I shall see you again soon. So goodbye for now, guys. Bye.